And a good day all of you, John Henderson here the Beverage Ramble, back again with you, another Beverage Ramble edition today. I thought I may have done this beer, but I guess I didn't, but from Creature Comforts here in, well, in Georgia, Athens, Georgia, that may be, Classic City Lager, a clean, crisp, easy drinking lager. Uh, it is a American lager style or craft lager, I'm thinking it's American craft lager, but you know, what do I, that's how it's being identified. Uh, gets an 85 score on Beer Advocate. Um, on tap gives it a 3.6 out of 5. So they like it too. It's about that same score. Again, like I said, I kept saying to myself, I know I've done this beer already. I've reviewed it when it was when I lived in Mobile. Kind of looked around and then I just why not? Just look at all your videos that you've recorded. And of course, Creature Comforts. I've only done like four beers from them, so I guess I did not do this one. So, anyway, so there solves the answer. Here's what the beer looks like. Again, it does look like your standard lager, but this is, if you want to look at it really, this kind of would say is more of a light lager because of the ABV, but it's very clear as you can see. Nice little head, retention up top. Got this at the QT service station here. QT is basically everywhere in the southeast. I don't think they go as far as North Carolina. Maybe they do, but South Carolina has it, Georgia, maybe parts of Alabama, maybe Tennessee as well. But a very popular service station here in the Georgia area, in the states of Georgia and South Carolina, all those other spots. So nice scent. Standard lager smell, you know, not put in the same category as Bud Light or Budweiser, but I don't know. We'll see when I taste this. Smells like your average lager, so here we go. I'm doing this at 7 30 right now. It's a little light out, so kind of cool. Interesting taste. Check the date on this to see if it's fresh. Mm, brewed on by, so by. Okay, well, it's still fresh. It's going to be brewed in February, but so by May of 2022. So May, May 22nd, 2022. So it's still fresh. So good thing I bought it today. Fresh beer tastes better. I don't know, it has a sort of a lemony aftertaste to it. That's what I'm getting from it, but oh, but you know, it's good. Man. Made from the choices bar malted barley and hops. So. Good finish. Does have the barley taste I'm getting. Very little rice. You know, it's a it's a good clean lager. It's not heavy, which is good. That's very important. Most adjunct or style lagers tend to be at 4.5, for between 4.5 to 5 percent. Maybe as high as maybe going to 5.3 percent. Then the 5.6, that's going to extra strong beer territory. So, like Mickey's, which I personally think look at it as a an adjunct lager preferably buy rather buy that than buy Budweiser that's just my 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 opinion but it's good ain't nothing off about it we've seen this now for the last 
couple of years now, I would say maybe seven years, eight years, that a lot of these craft breweries are now really, really want to kind of go back to the basics. I mean, they've done all the things they can do, all the IPAs, all the different creations and different concoctions and this or that and that and this. But now we're seeing kind of go back to the basics. We're going to do a basic, traditional, we want to make sure our pale ale or our adjunct lager or our porter is better than what, you know, what this person has. We want to make beer taste like what beer used to be back in the day. For some of these craft beers, what back was their vision, their view of back in the day is going back 19, to the 1940s and 50s when you had all these small breweries start popping up. Well, take back the 1930s. Well, after Prohibition ended in 33, but before Prohibition and after Prohibition, you know, you had a lot of small breweries popping up here and there, you know, of course, competing with the big boys, you know. Well, let's make, make this lager taste just as good as that lager. Some have been very successful. I remember there was a one I've tried, uh, of course, Solid, the founder, Solid Gold, was one of them that was really good. I can still get that now. Um, there's the Lloyd's Lager. I may look, I could play it, look it up in my videos. Lloyd's Lager, something like that. But that's also brewed here in Georgia. That's really has has that really good taste of something you would described from back in the day. Um, look, are these beers ever going to stand a chance against Budweiser or, you know, Miller High Life? You know, PBR, Course Banquet, probably not, but, but hey, you know, at least they try. But this is uh, it's good, it's refreshing. I mean, didn't pay. I imagine what it'd cost for a twelve-pack 12 of this if it was six, uh, six pack. it was six-pack. There's creature comfort beers from, and like many other craft breweries, not just this, but many others. You know, uh, Founders Solid was not uh, was not uh, not cheap at all for for uh, for a sixer for bringing that sort of view of the adjunct lager back in the day. Um, that was not reasonably priced, but many others are not. That's why people like the PBRs and go towards the Miller High, Miller High Life or Miller Genuine Draft PBR and uh, what's the other one? And then of course the premiums, Budweiser, Coors Banquet, and um, So on, so on, so on, and then many others. But, uh, but in hind, but overall, guys, this is a good beer. Uh, Creature Comfort, as I said, I've had several things from them. Now this is my fourth beer from them. Uh, of course, the Tropicali, Tropicali, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, IPA. That was good. I had their Bebo Pilsner. I've also had um, the Automatic Pale Ale. Uh, the brewery's based in Athens. Um, so obviously, being in the in the Atlanta area, I can get a lot of their stuff. So um, from that to from that brewery to you know, yes, Terrapin and Sweetwater are here. Yes, we know their importance, but Tucker to a slew of some great great breweries in Georgia. I'm not going to run off the names. I you see my videos, you already know what I'm talking about. So so I'm really been blessed <laughs> blessed 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 trying everything that's been available so anyway I'm not gonna go on I'm gonna go the same score uh, very good 8.5 for the classic city lager from creature comfort good brew good adjunct lager nice everything you want especially on a summer as we're getting close to summer so I'm gonna knock back a few sitting in the yard or at home and your feet up Watching some sporting event or just hanging with friends, all that good stuff. So, so that's my score: 8.5 for the classic city logger from Creature Comforts. Hmm. John Anderson Pierre of the Beverage Ramble. So, you know, keep on watching as always. Cheers, live, laugh, and love. Classic city logger, classic, classic city. All right, I got wet.